1921, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. a bright, bright day when the Japanese took our joy away. Now it is off to war and off to work on different paths. Where will this fighting go? And just how long how long will it stay? I'm writing from training camp, and it's only been a week, but it feels like a lifetime. I know you want me home, but containing communism and defeating Hitler is the best way I can protect you. But don't worry, I'll be home soon. Life has really changed at home. You would be so proud of the work I do now. All of the women are stepping up and taking control. We're stronger than we thought and can do more than others believed we were capable of. But please hurry home. I would give it all up just to have you back. Things and people change. Nothing like it was before. Everything we knew is different in this world of war. You know it is. There is a long way to go. And we have a lot to lose. Fight the German Nazi power until there is, until there is no. I wish with all my heart you could see the support your country has for you. Victory gardens on every corner growing food for the troops. Rations have come into effect, but no one argues. Our boys are a top priority. I listen to the radio constantly to hear about the war. I'm so proud of you. Be safe. I heard of victories in the Pacific. Midway Island is ours. This victory is huge and the turning point, some say. Preparing now for some attack in Europe. Can't say too much except I think we are on the up. High spirits here and lots of enthusiasm. I miss you, but I will see you very soon. Somewhere down the line there'll be a peaceful town. The National Broadcasting Company delays the start of all its programs to bring you a special bulletin. It was announced in San Francisco half an hour ago by a high American official not identified as saying that Germany has surrendered unconditionally to the Allies, no strings attached, and that the announcement is to be made formally by General Eisenhower. I'll repeat that. The formal announcement has not yet been made, but the official says that Germany has surrendered unconditionally to America, Britain, and Russia. The White House has just made an important announcement on the war. And to bring you this story, we interrupt our program to take you to Washington. I have just returned from the White House where it has just been announced that the United States is now using an atomic bomb, the most powerful explosive yet developed. At the White House, Eben Ayers, presidential press secretary, released a statement by the President of the United States on the atomic bomb. Here is President Truman's statement. The world will note that the first atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, a military base. 
We won the race of discovery against the Germans. We have used it in order to shorten the agony of war, in order to save the lives of thousands and thousands of young Americans. We shall continue to use it until we completely destroy Japan's power to make war.